Shalom Akim, Shalom Akwatim. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. It's your brother Bon Aim from the GMS Saints of Atlanta camp. The inspiration for this particular video, it comes by way of this photo that I came across. Because through the spirit, what do we see here? We see the so-called black man, which is in actuality, by nationality, the Israelite man. And let me be clear about something. You so-called blacks, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Native Americans, Hispanics, we are the children of Israel. You understand? The Bible is our history book. Now, getting back to this photo here, what do we see? Through the spirit, we see the Israelite man restored to his God-like status. He has a crown on his head and he is in possession of everything as the scriptures stated we would be. Let me come out of this photo here. Let me grab a few precepts and bear with me because it's starting to get a little late and I tend to uh, fumble over my words. But nevertheless, let's proceed. Matthew chapter 25 verse 34 and it tells us, Then shall the king, who's the king, Yahweh Shai, say unto them on his right hand, who will be those on his right hand, the elect, right? Come ye, blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Because remember, there's a scripture that tells us, and it escapes me right now, the elect were preordained for this. All right? Let me come out of this because we want to prove all things and hold fast that that is good. How do we know that the world and the fullness thereof has been created for the children of Israel? Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 9 through 12, and it tells us, now the city, which is given to someone as an inheritance, and that city is the kingdom of heaven. How would the heir receive the inheritance unless by passing through the appointed danger? Verse 10, I said, that is right, Lord. He said to me, also Israel's portion, for I made the world for their sakes. I'm going to read it again. Also is Israel's portion. For I made the world for their sakes. It was all made for us. The earth, the solar system, the galaxies, all of it was made for the children of Israel. Reading on. And when Adam transgressed my statutes, what had been made was judged. And so the entrance of, the, of this world were made narrow and sorrowful and toilsome. They are few and evil full of dangers and involved in great hardship. We're under the curses now. You understand? We're under the thumb of the oppressor. Okay? Couple that with what's written in 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 59. Now if the world be made for our sakes for the children of Israel, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Remember there's a scripture that tells us right that Esau is the end of the world this is his current kingdom right but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth because we want a kingdom where righteousness dwells all right we're going to be a kingdom of kings and priests the world is going to be ruled in perfect harmony and righteousness okay let's come from here let's come out of this here right remember what's written in the book of James chapter 1 verse 12 it reads, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Because as I mentioned previously, you know, we are all tempted in various ways. We are under the curses, so on and so forth. All right. When you come into this truth, you become more wiser. Things become more like an unto a burden unto you because there's a wisdom that maketh the man angry because you begin to comprehend why you're in the condition that you're in, but you must endure. All right. I'm going to read it again. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. But when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, the immortality, the new body, the kingdom, and everything that comes with it, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. All right? The scripture that comes to mind next is, eyes haven't seen, ears hasn't heard, all that Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai has to reveal to those that love him. All right? Continuing on. Consider what Yahweh Shai stated during his ministry. In Luke, the 18th chapter, the 28th through the 30th verse, Peter said to him, 
we have left all we had to follow you. Truly I tell you, Yahweh Shai said to them, no one who has left home or wife or brothers or sisters or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of the Most High will fail to receive many times as much in this age and in the age to come eternal life. As I mentioned previously, let me go back to this photo here. We're going to receive eternal life, immortality, and, and forever to enjoy it. All right? Remember the Apostle Paul said he saw things that he couldn't even put into words. All right? Remember the Lord hasn't allowed certain things to enter into our wildest imaginations that awaits us should we be of the elect, you know? Let me come out of this here. And even those that are not the elect, they're going to be reborn in the kingdom and get it anyway. But I want to, Yahweh Ratazah, I want to get it on the first go round again. Dang. And as I mentioned previously, Akim, we'll have forever to enjoy it. How do we know? Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. It tells us this. But Israel, you so-called blacks, Puerto Ricans, Native Americans, Hispanics, shall be saved in the Lord. The Lord in all caps is Yahweh, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Immortality. All right. This is why we're advised. In the book of Revelation, the third chapter in the 11th verse, Yahweh Shai tells, told, tells us this. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast without which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Akim, like I said, the inspiration for this particular video comes from this photo here. You know, look at Jake, man. This is us, man. You know, and you have to visualize it. You have to see it in your mind first, Akim. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, Akim. Shalom.